Hello YouTube friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm working more on my RPG Maker project. I'm going to pick up where I left off in the last video. And I um, want to mention something. I, I am using the new NVIDIA app, which I believe is still in beta. And I did some more videos for reviews yesterday. And in one of them I noticed that the quality of the video looked pixelated, even though it is recording in 60 FPS and bitrate as well for 60 and 1080p. So I messed with the bitrate to turn it up. I did not know that turning the bitrate up would increase the amount of file size for recording videos. Holy crap, what a difference. Um, so, for now, I'm going to keep it at 60. So, video quality might suffer. Because I don't know how, you know, it, the new app's still in beta. So, I do apologize for that. It's a wonderful app, despite it being in beta. If it is still in beta, it might not be. The features in it are, oh, they're wonderful. Being able to make games look brand new out of the box. And that might be why that one game looked like it did, even though I was recording in 1080, 60, Hey kitty, what are you doing on my desk? No, that's not for you, buddy. You have water in your bowl. Be a good boy, okay? Even though I do have it set to record 1080 at 60 FPS and bitrate 60, the new NVIDIA app game filters might be why it looks like that. Or, you know, being like it's on like 360 or whatever quality for for video quality on YouTube and it could be YouTube as well who knows I don't know there's many factors I tested it again on what I have it set to now I did not upload the video to YouTube because I was currently uploading some RuneScape videos and at the higher bitrate and um Four hours to upload an hour long video with a new bitrate at 100. So, um, yeah, until I can get, until I do get the fiber optic internet in my area, it's gonna take a while. Hopefully, not five years like their site says it will, because they're installing it for their customers first, for who gets power from them, because it is, and electric company who's doing it but hopefully within the next year or two I can get fiber optic internet and I will no longer have 40 megs of upload speed so yes I will have a thousand up and a thousand down well or thereabouts hopefully <laughs> in the future so we gotta deal with it for a while longer it is unfortunate the company I'm with now I mean they're great Except for the upload speed, which I think it should be illegal to do asynchronous speeds, but that's my opinion. So I digress. I mean, I'm paying 145 a month just for internet by itself, no TV and no phone. So yeah, yeah, I I should get 400 down, 400 up, but I'm not. I'm getting 10% of my downloads being hit stupid. So we're going to continue on after that little, you know, rant or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to try to make these events. So make event command to randomize the other player characters, classes, depending on which is chosen by the player. That should not be too hard at all. So, uh. 
what I need to do is I need to make a transitional branch, I believe, and then I think I need if actor if actor I think class is this. I might not need an else tag for this though. Because I want the else tag to be well Is my cat under the I think he is, yeah. He's crawling the couch, which I don't mind. As long as he's just not visible. <laughs> so I need this to be I think this is it. So if class of character actually hold on there's something I want to look up. We'll see ya. So there is an input number. Is there an input text for the player? Because this allows the player to input numbers. Is there one for text? I thought of this last night in bed. Is there one for text to allow the player to input text? So I can maybe make the event to allow players to name their characters. There's this, but it's based on variables. Okay, that's fine. Change party member, initialize, that's all that stuff, okay. Um, is it under here maybe? Hmm, I mean maybe with a script, but I don't know how to do scripting. Um, self switch, timer, no. Change the nickname. See, I wish I could let them do it, not me. They're so shitty. Why? Like, you have input number, why can't I let them do it on their own? Like, I want to give the player freedom to name their characters. So how can I do that? Common event, okay, that's just calling those. Skill, level, XP, state, TP, Change profile, change class, movement, timing, audio, video, character. That's not it. Scene control. Oh, here it is. Okay. There is one. Okay. Why is it under scene control? It should be under... It should be under show text. Or messages, not... So there is one. Okay. I just... Why is it over here? It makes no sense. So there is one. Okay, that is wonderful. That is wonderful. But in my opinion, it's in the wrong spot. They need to move it onto page one under character or messages. That's good to know. So I can do this then. Excellent. And I'm betting all of you are who watched this are probably yelling at me in the comments from last video saying, you passed it, you passed it, you passed it. It's there, it's there, it's there. I mean, I wasn't expecting it to be here. I'm sorry. So I want... Can I do that? 16's the max. That's fine. Okay. Now we know what the max is. Okay, so now we can do our name. How many characters is Abraxas? I need to see what that is. So that is three, four, five, six, seven. Let's just do 16 or let's just do 10. Yeah, let's just do 10. So select I can I can maybe do name at the end actually. Hold on. Yeah, I can do name at the end of all of this. Yeah. Um God I 
had Olive the Garden and now it's all I smell. And it does not smell pleasant, even though it was wonderful food. Okay. So how, where, where do I want this to be? Hmm. Okay, so I want it to be maybe down here somewhere. Yeah. So enter enter 10. I think 10's good. I could do 16, but I think 10's a good number. So, yeah, we'll we'll do that for now. So, and I'll have to change it from a Braxis to whomever. I mean, so I don't have anything set yet, but it's fine. This is just the rough draft for it now. And then once I add the other characters into the database, I can change it from there into minor, you know, minor editing later. So that's good to know that I can do that. But I think it's in the wrong spot. They need to move it elsewhere in the command list because that should not be under scene control I'm sorry so make event command to randomize the other player classes depending on which is chosen by player <coughs> oh squeeze me Alright, so if class is Dragon Bane, and I'll have to do this for hmm. I'll have to take all of this stuff and then paste it in here as well. And then just minor edit it. Which is fine, like I don't mind doing that at all. But I'm just giving you guys a heads up you know, for future. So when class of player is Dragon Bane. I think I want a variable for this. So control variable, randomize one, two, three. So we don't want Lucky present for this one. We want Oh, I'm in the wrong spot. I wish I can click up here and have it tight. But I gotta go down here instead. Which is kinda annoying, but whatever. No, I hit I hate when I type and I'm pressing shift and I'm holding it down, then I press a key. It does not do what shift is supposed to do. Oh every fucking keyboard, I swear. I can go and buy a new keyboard. And it does the same thing. It does it on my laptop as well. It's it's stupid. I'm holding the button down. I can feel it depress. So I know I'm not doing the depress. But it does not do what it's supposed to do. Dear mighty Bill Gates, explain this to me. Please. And there you go. Mm. Party classes. Okay, classes party. I yeah, know that's that's wrong. So we want it to be randomized. So how am I going to do this? It won't be the same as change item. So. I think I want another conditional branch. Yes. And then I can make it so... Can 
Can I do what I did with the um gold one? Maybe. I can maybe do that actually. That might work. That might work. I can maybe do what I did over here in the common events for this one. I can have I can have class party or party classes equals a variable for that and it will randomize it between one and three. Maybe for each one. <clears throat> but the question is how do I do it? I probably cannot fix or finish this until I actually add more to it. <clears throat> so let's go into here. You know, I don't think I can do this until I actually add more stuff to it. Or add more stuff into here. So I need more actors for that. for it to fully work, but I can maybe make the preliminary version of this and it might work fully once I, once I do finish adding the rest of the stuff that I need to add. So I need maybe variable party classes equal to party classes and that might work that might work and I need to do that for each individual one So I need to then do, I don't want an else tag because I already have, well, no, I might need an else tag actually. We'll see whenever I get that far. This will take some testing later on. Was well, this fine? Like whatever, who cares? <clears throat> um. So then I want This might not work actually. Not the way I want it to. Cuz I can't do a plus 1 by it or nothing. Hmm. Yeah, I can't have this called a variable for it to work. So that's not. Oh, I know what's missing. Hold on. I think I know what is missing. I don't have the actor in here. So I think I need another actor. No, I don't think I can do that. I 
I don't think I can do this. I'm trying to think. Um, there has to be a way for this to work. The question is how. Hmm. And it wouldn't be the same as what I've done before for the items and gold. Because I cannot change, I cannot do a plus one by it. Which is unfortunate because that would be. Maybe do uh, maybe do can I do actor maybe that might work and just try it whenever I get to that point. Um system settings I have to do that too. So I might need another conditional branch at this point. No, that would not work, I don't think. I may not be able to do the random classes for I can't think of a way for that to work. Granted, I've never done this before. But I'm doing that with something I've never done before. So. But I cannot think of a way. For the random class thing to work properly. Even with a variable. A conditional branch. Or a switch. I cannot think of a way for it to work properly. Hmm. When, so, so choices, and I have all that up there. When Dragonbane, change class of character to Dragonbane. Save XP, false. Because you don't have any right now. <clears throat> if character or player is Dragonbane, control variable for party classes, random one through three, and then where do I go from there? Hmm. <coughs> hmm. I don't think it's possible. Unless I'm not able... There has to be a way, but I'm not able to think of it. Hmm. I'll spend five more minutes thinking on how to do it. And if I cannot think of a way to do it, I will scrap the idea. Because it's not a big deal. I don't mind doing that. Because I can always make it instead of being random. 
No, actually, there's, there might be another way to do it. Instead of doing this, there might be another way to do it. Hold on. Instead of doing a variable, this might work. Hold on. I'm curious. This might work. Hold on. It, I mean, it may... <coughs> damn. It may not work, but hear me out. So... Edit this one. Create else tag. So if... Player is Dragon Bane. Then we do... How am I going to do it again? Crap. I was going to do another conditional branch for act, no, for, yeah, for actor. No, that may not work either. Shit. Yeah, I don't think that'll work either. Because it would always choose the first one. Yeah, that won't work either. Yeah. Okay, it is what it is. So... We can scrap with that idea, not a big deal. Because I cannot think of a way to do it. So, it's not a big deal, I don't mind. Unless I do... On this side is due to where it is change. Where is it at? Actor change class for everyone. <coughs> Which I could do that actually. Hold on. So I will take this and I will paste it in three times and then her, this one. No, actually, there. I just fucking thought of it. I just thought of it. Hold on. No, I just thought of it just now. I legit just thought of it. One through ten. Hear me out. We then take this. Hear me out. Party classes is equal to one. We do it the same way as the items. I was overthinking it. And I beat the five minute timer. Hell yeah. Okay. So then we want an we want an else tag on this. Then I want to copy this. Else. 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 So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. This is becoming a long event. Oh my god. I love this shit. Oh my god. I love this shit. Oh man. Okay, so now we edit this one. <laughs> it's equal to two. 
I love this shit. Mm. Four. <laughs> Five. <laughs> six. I mean six. What? <laughs> I didn't say that word, did I? Oh, wait, I did because reasons. <laughs> And I think 10 is enough, honestly. Like, I really do. It gives... It gives variety to the game. Like, like legit variety to the game. And then this one... Then we do this. So we do a 1d10 dice, and we do this. <laughs> this is going to be fucking silly. <laughs> so then, we take this, and we paste it three, two more times. <laughs> this is silly. So that will be our party composition for if it rolls on. And I mean, it might repeat. It, I mean, on, like, who knows? It might repeat. I mean, but it's going to be randomized. And I beat the 10 minute, the 5 minute timer to think of an idea. I didn't specify it had to be done in 5 minutes. Just had to think of an idea. And I did. So then we just do this, then we do this, then we do this, then we do this, and then we do this, then we do this. This is going to be the longest event I have ever done, and I fucking love it. So then we change this one to be that one. We change this one to be this one. We change this one to be that one. <clears throat> we basically reverse the order in a sense. And then we come down here. We'll keep this one as it is. We will change these two around. No, I, I did the wrong one. Fuck. Feisty Viper. There we go. So we'll keep that one Enigma Master, and then this one will be Herd of Chance. So then we will change it to where. Let's see. Oh, this is going to get hard to remember. To remember which one is which. So we want Herald in the middle. Herald in the middle. Enigma on the bottom. Because we've not done that yet. Uh oh. Enigma on the bottom. And then Feisty Viper on top, because we've done that one as well, but, you know, actually we have not done that one yet. So, and I think that is all we need. We don't need any more, so we can get rid of the rest. And then we can get rid of the else tag. And there we go. The classes are now randomized. So now we don't need it to say 1 through 10, it can say 1 through 4. That way, it will always happen. Now if I had more classes, I would you know keep going, but I only have 4 classes. That's all you really need. So, now I, mean, I might add more, who knows. But, 4 is enough for now. 
So that part is now done. Make event depending on I spoke depending wrong. Oh well, dip ding. Ha! Make event depending on race, age, and class chosen. Player will get random buffs and debuffs. Max three total. This means a player can get lucky and have three buffs and zero debuffs, or the opposite. <sighs> okay. This is gonna be a bit. It won't be hard to do. Basically, it'll be a variable. And a very long variable as well. So. Hmm. I need to make buffs and debuffs. I've not done that yet. So I want to hold off on that for now. Because that is not. I have not done that yet. So. I need to do that. I, and I have not done that yet. So before I do that. I need to make them. So I think. For now. This event is done. I'm not going to copy and paste it. Into the rest of it yet. Because it is not done. Fully done. And I have not tested it yet. Either. So, yeah. But I think it is done for now. I'm going to save my project. Make sure it saves because, you know, that whole chestnut of a bug since day one of the release of an $80 program. Yay. But how long have I been recording for... It's a bit of a short one, but I could keep going, honestly. Um, what else can I do? Hmm. I could make the buffs and debuffs, because I do need to, you know, make them. But I kind of want to do that later, maybe on my own time, and maybe kind of keep them hidden for now. Maybe. I don't know. Or not reveal what they do. Yeah, I might. Yeah, I want to make them when I'm not recording. Because I don't want to reveal what they do. I don't want to spoil what my ideas are for them. I mean, I don't really have many ideas for them right now. But I don't want to reveal what my ideas are. And that is a personal choice. If you don't agree with that choice, I am sorry, but that is one thing that I, I do not want to reveal to you guys right now. So, those are going to be done on my own time when I'm not recording. So, I, I apologize for that. Um, I don't need enemies right now. Weapons... Weapons and armors will have to be done while actually playing the game. I feel. I mean, I've made weapons and armors before. But I never got to the point to where the game was done being, you know, drawn out or done eventing. So, I might honestly save that point, that part, for when I'm actually, like... Testing the game and you know going through it for bugs and whatnot. <clears throat> yeah. Um, animations. I've never really messed with them before, like ever. Because every time I did, I would mess things up. <laughs> Enemies and troops are the same thing. It's just you know troops are what you call in the battle like like so let me go ahead and just mute this once it loads of course because you know it's I get a freaking do I don't know why but it does you know it's probably gonna loop it oh what it's not probably because you can't have a built-in script editor yeah. 
mean, this is what you do. You just, you know, make enemies over here, then you, you know, take them over here and you just do this, you know. Now we got gnomes. We got gnomed. I gnomed you all. I gnomed everyone. <laughs> Too bad they're not mooning everyone. <laughs> I wonder. Oh, I could get a garden gnome and make it my gnomes. But I'm not going to because for all I know, the garden gnomes could be copyrighted. Copywritten. <laughs> be my luck. <laughs> Um, states, these are good, debuffs need to happen, same for buffs, tile sets, eh, I'm using the generic ones, but I mean they work, system stuff, everything is good here for now. Everything is good here for now as well. Actors, I'm going to add all of that stuff in my own time. Because I have a bunch of stuff to add for, you know, the playable characters and whatnot. So, yeah. Um, I think I'm done for now with that event. I need to obviously, like I said, make more buffs or make buffs and debuffs. Add the new actors in so I can actually put them in for whenever I finish that event. And then that event will be done. I can test it, make sure it works, fix bugs in that event. Oh, joy. Um, but yeah, I think I'm done for now. This was a shorter video, but it is late for me so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and put a cut here and i will see you all next time have a wonderful day